Today I'm discussing what can be done for a cat who is sneezing, has a runny nose and eye discharge. And then finally, question number five is sent in from the owner of a cat who was attacked, actually attacked by a pit bull a week previously. No seemingly bad injuries, just had a toenail that was, was ripped, but then three days ago started to sneeze, started to have a runny nose um, and had stuff in his eyes, so had a bit of a discharge from his eyes. Now, to start with, those signs of, of disease that are going on, they don't sound like a typical post-fight injury or any kind of problem that would happen as a result of of being attacked by a pit bull you know obviously getting checked over by your vet is very important after any kind of trauma like that certainly dogs can do a huge amount of damage to to cats um, and i imagine that the the cat was checked over or at least i hope it was now what these signs do sound typical of though is respiratory disease so disease of the the upper airway so the nose um and the yeah, and really that can often be caused by stress. So stress can flare up often these viral diseases. So we have a couple of cat flu viruses, which are typical um, in cats and very common in that called herpes virus, which is um, the same as what causes cold sores in us or the same family of viruses that causes cold sores in humans. Um, and also Khaleesi virus is another one. And they can be present in a normal, healthy individual uh, and they will flare up at times of stress. Now, if it's only mild disease, then they can be fairly self-limiting, meaning that they will get better by themselves without any particular particular treatment you know we need to keep the eyes clear we need to try and um, remove any discharge from the nose um, but yeah very often as the stress dies away so there's you know if we can avoid any more fights um, in this case then you know likely the disease will resolve itself now we can sometimes though need other medications so that might include something like lysine supplementation it could be eye medication in case there's any ulcers developing um, we can need antibiotics sometimes for any secondary infection so sometimes the bacteria that are normally present in these areas will take advantage of the inflammation and damage that the virus is the, the viruses are causing um, and need antibiotics to control those we can also need to give warm strong smelling food to make sure that our cats continue eating a cat with a completely blocked nose often finds it hard to eat or they don't have an appetite because they rely on their sense of smell so much for their appetite and and therefore they go off their food a little bit um, putting them in a steamy room can also help just to mobilize that mucus any buildup that's happening in their nose um, again just to clear their nose now if the disease is affecting a cat's general demeanor or it's getting worse or it's not going away then obviously you need to consult with your vet even if it's something that you've dealt with time again if they've had a similar problem in the past if they're getting worse if it's not going away then talking to your vet and getting them checked over to make sure that there aren't any other injuries or other diseases is going to be very important You've been watching the Dr. Alex Answers video podcast. Remember to subscribe and head over to DrAlexAnswers.com for any links, downloads, and get your question answered.